What is going on, people? It is your boy Sventy bringing you some Battlefield Bad Company 2. And why, you may ask? Well, I'm sure you guys know why I'm bringing you some Bad Company 2. Because we are going to be talking about the Battlefield 3 live broadcast that came to us straight from the Battlefield 3 team themselves. Some of the developers from the game came and answered questions live to a group of uh, viewers that were actually just watching it just as a live um well just as a live stream i guess you could call it so i'm gonna go through i'm gonna recap that and talk to you guys about a couple of other things battlefield 3 related really quick a lot of very very big news um you know I, recently actually battlefield 3 fans have actually been very pleased to see all the stuff that's come out i mean you got stuff with Gamescom that's been coming up that just started today. You have the Caspian Border gameplay trailer that came out, what, two days ago? And that thing's already rocking over 2 million views. I mean, that thing just blew my mind away. But we're going to touch on that a little bit at the end. But, um, like I said, first things first. I'm going to go through, and I'm basically, I'm not going to go through and say, you know, this is the question they asked and this was the answer. I'm going to go through and just basically give you guys the points that they made in their answers so, uh, it's not going to be in any specific order so you might hear things that should be grouped together in different parts this is just going to be in the order that they were asked and that they answered so first things first vehicle damage it's not going to be like the traditional video game where no matter where you shoot a vehicle it's going to blow up in two or three shots in Battlefield 3, the vehicle damage will actually pertain to the area in where the vehicle gets shot at. Such as if the vehicle gets, if a tank gets shot in the treads, it's not going to be as mobile, if you know any at all. If a tank gets shot in the turret, it's not going to be able to shoot, but you can still drive it. These things can be repaired, but basically, the area damage will affect the vehicle functionality. For the beta, there has been no official a date set at this point a robot that came about in the new trailer the Caspian border trailer a lot of people were really really suspicious not suspicious a lot of people were very um Jesus I can't even think of the word I'm trying to use very curious of what that was about so there is gonna be a drone that fixes vehicles arms bombs and I think you can use it somewhat as a UAV on the ground, I guess, something to spy on people with. As far as kill streaks go, there's not going to be any kill streaks like there traditionally is in Call of Duty, so to say. Um, there's actually not going to be a kill streak system at all, saying, you know, if you get X amount of kills, you can call on this kind of support. There's none of that at all. It's going to be straight up traditional battlefield style. Um, they do have some changes that occurred in the scoring system, and you will basically the scoring system completely is more team focused there is a co-op mode which they didn't specify if it was for the single player campaign i'm not exactly sure but they did say there was a co-op mode this battlefield game is going to have the most weapons and it's going to be the most customizable out of any battlefield game or bad company game to date they have a specific setting called infantry only setting. Obviously, they're going to include hard mo hardcore mode setting in there as well. But infantry only, so I imagine that pretty much will make it so there's no vehicles in that particular game if you choose that setting. There will be mortar strikes, and the mortar strikes and the bots will be used by the individual player, just like how the mortar strike was used by the recon class in Battlefield Bad Company 2. I'm not saying it's going to be the recon class that will use these, but they will be used in a similar manner. The scout helicopter, or the UAV, will be in Battlefield 3. There are redesigned commander tools, and they reapplied them to different kits. If you're familiar with Battlefield 2, you'll know what I'm talking about. If not, probably not so much. There will be kill cams. Spotting as it is in the alpha is being changed and rewritten due to feedback that they have gotten um, it is said to have been improved but they are still making some changes to it there will be changes to it for the beta and most likely there's probably going to be changes from how it is in the beta even to the finished product uh, there will be bullet drop as there has been in pretty much all the battlefield games 
the conquest flags will actually have names now um, they're still trying to stay as true as possible to the Battlefield 2 setup overall, but the Conquest flags will have names now. Just for communication purposes to make the game more team oriented. There was a Battlefield 3 fact sheet released, and if you've seen that, it is official, and they are going to be updating that and releasing it when necessary. Re releasing it when necessary. For single player, people were asking if they should expect how long the single player campaign should be. And they couldn't really specify a time, but what they did say is it is going to be a good package with a very intriguing story. Some people asked if it was going to be based on non fictional events, and they said no. It is going to be fictional, but it's going to be inspired by real world events. And, um, you know, they brought up a really good point, because a lot of people talk about Battlefield aiming for realism, and they said that a lot of people had that misconstrued, saying that when they try to be realistic, it's going to be that the single-player campaign is going to be based on realistic missions or realistic events that have occurred throughout time. That is not, in fact, true. They said a better word to explain what they're doing is authenticity they're trying to give you a more authentic battle or war experience as far as PC requirements there are no official statements on the PC requirements to play the game just yet for all the modes that they're gonna have they're gonna have conquest rush team deathmatch squad team deathmatch squad rush they're going to have Conquest Small, which is a smaller game of Conquest, obviously. And then if you play on the, on the PC, you'll have the Conquest with 64 players. And the last thing they touched on that I saw is that Battlefield 3 is not going to be available through Steam. So that pretty much wraps that, people. I am going to put the link for the Battlefield 3 live broadcast in the description you should really go check it out i believe they're actually going to be having more stuff on there as it comes um for the united states this broadcast happened really early it happened at 2 30 a.m eastern standard time so <laughs> i'm sure a lot of us weren't exactly staying up to watch it and i didn't even know about it so i woken up this morning and uh watched the replay of it but you can still go there you can watch the replay watch everything that i just talked about and uh get a little bit more in depth with as in depth with it as well um, these guys just the stuff they were saying is just absolutely mind-blowing mind-blowing I mean we've seen so many great things and it just kind of reinforces the confidence I have in the game hearing from the developers and what they have to say themselves I mean I was extremely extremely excited about it and I had a really good time watching it for gamescom gamescom is basically a gaming expo it's going on from August 18th through August 21st from what I have been reading and hearing Battlefield 3 has absolutely run the show there's another article I'm going to be linking in the description titled Battlefield 3 blows away Gamescom competition EA not even just Battlefield EA has absolutely torn it up um, I'm gonna go a little bit in depth and tell you guys some of the awards and which games what got which awards the best hardware or hardware accessories went to the PlayStation Vita. The best console game went to FIFA 12, which is an EA game. The best mobile game went to Uncharted Golden Abyss. Best online game went to Star Wars The Old Republic, which is also an EA game. The best PC game went to Diablo 3. The best browser game went to The Sims Social, which is also coming at you from EA. <laughs> this cracks me up. The best family game went to Sesame Street, Once Upon a Monster, which is an Xbox exclusive. Man, I wish I played in the Xbox. But the best in show, the best of Gamescom award went to Battlefield 3, people. Recognize. So, you know, Battlefield 3 has been taking not just YouTube, not just the internet. It's been taking the gaming and community, the gaming world, whatever you want to call it. It's been taking it by storm. Um, which brings me to my last part. What was it? Two days ago, on August 16th, there was a video released by EA Vision. The channel was called EA Vision. 
and it was titled Battlefield 3 Caspian Border Gameplay. Let me say that this was the most remarkable trailer I have ever seen for any video game in my life. Ever. I was so mesmerized and just like in awe from watching it. It honestly like it was just mind blowing. Watching the one scene where they had tons of tanks, hummers, helicopters just flying over this field looking like they were all going to wreck some shit just completely like blew my mind away. Like I am so excited for this game, I can't even tell you. Um, I am going to be doing another video about some other games upcoming and uh, some late news about those. You're going to be seeing some stuff about Dead Island, Modern Warfare 3, Rage, you know, whatever I'm excited for, you guys will be hearing about, so be expecting that. But I'm also going to be linking, if you haven't, if you somehow haven't seen the Battlefield 3 Caspian Border gameplay, I'm going to be linking that in the description as well. So all in all, in the description. What you are going to see, you're going to see the Battlefield Live broadcast link. You're going to see a link to an article about Gamescom 2011 and about how Battlefield has really completely blown out the competition there. And you're going to see a list of which games received which awards. And you're going to see the Battlefield 3 Caspian Border gameplay. Yes, indeed, people. So, um, you know, I hope for you Battlefield 3 fans, you really enjoyed the video. Definitely let me know what you think in the comments below. If you really liked it, I would definitely love to see those... Con or those um, Jesus, I can't even talk. I would definitely love to see ratings, whether good or bad. You know, I was telling somebody the other day, whether you give me a good rating or a bad rating, it gives me feedback and helps me make my videos better for you guys, make them more enjoyable. If I do a video and I see it's got 100 dislikes, I'm obviously going to know that I did something wrong. You know, I do analyze things a lot, overanalyze things sometimes. So, you know, giving me thumbs up, thumbs down, I don't care. I will never say, you know, please just give me a thumbs up. I'm not like that. I like feedback, whether it's ratings or comments, either of them help. So definitely keep that in mind. Um, you know, I guess to touch on the gameplay a little bit before we wrap this up, playing some Rush, absolutely dominating. I think I finished this game 29-9, and nine actually. I have a lot of great gameplays from Battlefield Bad Company 2 to show you. I was using the Medic class. And that's another crazy thing I wanted to tell you was that the Medic class is actually going, the uh, defibrillator and the medipacks are actually going to belong to the assault class in Battlefield 3. And the support class with the LMGs is actually going to be responsible for the ammo packs. Just the last quick fact. But anyways guys, it's your boy Sven D. Let me know what you think about the video. And until next time people, I will catch you all later. Peace.